Hey guys, welcome to my third Minecraft model tutorial, and I'll be showing you guys how to make items. So, I'm going to open up Eclipse first, so we can start editing our Java files once again. And I'm also going to open up my MCP file. So, C drive, and then MCP underscore version 6. And I'm just going to leave that there. Now, I'm going to open up my mod, which if you guys have been following along on my tutorials, is under the C drive in MCP and then it's in source Minecraft net Minecraft and source and the name of it is mod underscore plutonium block dot Java so I'm gonna open that up wait a second okay now the other uh, class file we're gonna use is mod loader dot Java and we're just gonna use that for reference and the other class we're going to use is item.java since we're going to use an item uh, so you can just take a look at this class and look at some of the variables and how items are uh, created and stuff so we're pretty much just going to copy what we see here except we're going to put it in our mod class so if you open up your mod class I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and here I've made a little comment section where I'm going to put all my custom icons items you can uh, put them wherever you want as long as it's outside of your function or any functions and in inside your class but you can pretty much put them wherever you want so I'm going to put mine here so you say public static item and I will be making a plutonium block um, using our plutonium ore that we created in the previous tutorials so for example when you mine diamond, you can put nine together and make a diamond block. So I'm going to do the same thing with plutonium. So you put nine plutoniums together, and you can make a plutonium block. So we're going to say plutonium block. And then if you come down here, this in this static block right here, this is where we initialize our objects. So I'm going to say plutonium block equals, and then... If you look over here in the item class, you can take a look at how some of them are initialized. Some of them have uh, their own class, like this is item bow, which if you look extends item, so or item armor, or uh, if you come down here, item sword, and some of these are tools which I'll go over in a later tutorial, but for now we're just going to create a simple item. So... I'm going to copy one, just a simple one, so I'm going to use stick here and copy it, and then paste it, and we're going to change some things. So this 24 right here is the item ID, so I'm going to change it to 100. Now, the difference between a block ID and an item ID is that a block ID, the actual ID, when you uh, have a mod, let's say, and you want to give yourself an item, you would actually put in 120 but for items you add 256 plus 100 so if you were using a mod you'd say give yourself 356 because it's 256 plus whatever this number is and we can delete this set icon coordinate and set full 3d so I'm gonna delete that and set the item name so plutonium block now this isn't the name again that do it doesn't uh, show this up when you put your uh, mouse cursor over it. That's a, another uh, function we're going to do up here. So once we got this initialized, now we have to come up here to our constructor where it says public mod underscore plutonium block and just make a little comment section. This is for my plutonium block and we are going to um, add the name of what it shows when you put your mouse over it. So it's going to say mod loader dot add name and then put plutonium block and then the name of it. So it's going to show plutonium block when you put your mouse over it. So this is what it's going to show when you hover over it in your inventory. Now the other thing we need to do is override the texture because we are not going to use the regular items texture because uh, that pretty much almost defeat the point of using a mod loader in this case so what you do is you have your item name so plutonium block dot 
and then you need to go into your item class and there is if I can find it there is a variable called I believe icon index uh, let's see oh yes it's down here right here icon index at line 326 so we're going to say icon index equals mod loader dot add override and all we're going to do is override the the items file that you use so slash gui slash items dot p dot png and that is the location and name of the texture and then the one we're replacing it with it with is called uh, mine is let me check here where I saved it and mine is called plutonium underscore block and this is just a custom block I made so you can make yours however you want plutonium block dot png and then add the parentheses and semicolon and now we should be able to recompile it and that should be all you have to do to create your own item okay okay so there's no error so we did everything correct and uh, obviously right now you won't be able to see your item you created because we haven't made a recipe but I will be doing that in the next tutorial so if you guys just go on to the next tutorial and I will show you guys how to make a recipe and then we'll show you it in the game so uh, hope this tutorial helped and thanks for watching